Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So before we start, I just wanted to clarify something. This video isn't going to be a how to dress kawaii, but more of a like tips and steps to acquire the confidence to dress kawaii in public. So I will be making a video where I teach you how to dress kawaii with uh, like things that you already have in your closet because I got a few requests to make this video so I will in the future but right now it's gonna be eight steps or tips on how to get the confidence to wear kawaii in public I'm gonna start right away the first step is to go to your closet I want you to open your closet and look at your items look at the way they are like placed in your closet do you have like the more plain clothes at the top or like easy to reach i want you to pay attention to your favorite pieces the cutest pieces you have or like the more extra pieces you have are they at the bottom are they at the top are they easy to reach because i feel like it really tells a lot about where you are at the moment i want you to take your favorite items and like the cutest ones and the ones that you rarely wear because of the way you think you're gonna be judged or like you feel more anxious wearing them but you like them and you'd like to wear them more i want you to pick these items and put them at the top make them like easy to reach now to the second step you're gonna organize yourself a little try on session i love doing this i do this quite often i don't anymore but i used to do it a lot and what I like to do is prepare a nice cold drink because it gets really hot in my room. So I put on an ambience, I put on some music and I just like try on outfits for one to two hours depending on my mood and I just try them without judging. Like it's really a time where I just experiment without um, this fear of like can I wear this outside because if you're trying on outfits just before you go out, you might have these intrusive thoughts of like, what are people gonna think about this? Can I really wear this today? And it's really like, it brings a lot of anxiety. And when you go out wearing this outfit, you'll feel like so anxious, you won't enjoy yourself. And at least it is for like my experience. Just try on things and see what goes well with what build like cute outfits that you really enjoy without thinking what others might think of it because for now you're just playing in your room with your outfits it's fine the third step is to take pictures now like as you're trying on outfits if you really like one of them and you generally feel cute wearing this outfit i want you to take a picture of the outfit it's gonna be for you it's not gonna be like pictures you're gonna bust you can if you want but it's mainly for you and this is really gonna help you when you are about to go out and you have to pick an outfit you don't have to sit there for hours trying to pick an outfit and having these intrusive thoughts that might block you and like you get all anxious like it really helps like when you're going out oh my god i think that a lot of us can relate to this the more time you spend trying on outfits the more you get these intrusive thoughts and you're like okay maybe I'm, i look weird like this maybe it's like too childish things like that and like the more you sit in this kind of stressful vibe you're gonna at some point you're gonna like crack and you're gonna be like okay let's just it's just too much stress i'm just going to go with something uh casual so yeah this really helps like when you're going to go out you just take your phone and like choose an outfit that you really liked uh, when you tried it on and you like literally just take the pieces like dress up and go out no thinking like really you really need to try not to think too much before going out with the clothes because this is really when your mind tries to convince you because your mind is trying to keep you safe really and you're gonna sense this stress and your mind is gonna be like okay i need to avoid this 
unpleasant feeling, you know? So I have to act and like persuade myself to like wear something casual so that I can go out and not feel stressed. It's easier to just do it this way than to wait and like spend hours trying on outfits before going out. Trust me, it's way easier. <laughs> Okay, so the fourth step is actually something I got from Cyber Girl because yes, credit needs to be given. The step is, or the tip, is to wear your outfits at home or somewhere you feel comfortable at. Literally, just like dress up. Even if you don't have anything to do, you just dress up and you like chill in your house and is really about getting comfortable in what you're wearing. And I think she's right because when you start wearing this kind of fashion, you want to feel comfortable, like the most comfortable you can, because obviously you're not gonna feel 100% comfortable, but um, really try to wear them when you're like at your house or at your friend's place, somewhere you feel comfortable and not too judged. I think she's right uh, on this point and I think it's a really good tip. Okay, the fifth step, and not everyone might agree with this, but as much as I think it's good to take things slowly, with this kind of thing, if you don't do it, like if you don't throw yourself out there, you're never gonna do it because it's so, like it's the first step is the most important and it's not just about fashion, it's about everything. Like if you don't take any action, you're not gonna move, you're, not, you're just gonna get stuck where you are and you really need to take that first step. It can feel so hard, but it's like the easiest way to get where you want to be. So take that first step. And I know, I know, people in your town might be closed-minded. Maybe you live in a village like myself. I live in a kind of village, a very small town. People are so judgmental. And I know it's the case for a lot of you guys. It's not, you can't change that. You just can't. I actually got an advice from a YouTuber that I love. Um, it's Best Dressed. You guys probably know her, she's a fashion icon, um, but I got a tip from her back then and she was talking about how to like start dressing up and stuff and she mentioned that um, at her high school um, people were very like not close-minded because of course like we're in high school like yeah but like nobody dressed up and it was actually seen as cooler to not try too hard so people would just not care and that would make them cooler and she said that she wanted to wear heels she was so scared to do it because obviously she would be like noticed but she said something in her video that i thought was so true people like they have to get to know the new you. She said something along the lines of, oh, okay, it's just actually doing her thing, and it's basically this. Like, after a while, people would just accept the fact that you dress like this. So, yeah, it's just you doing your thing, you being you, no big deal. I actually got a life advice uh, from another YouTuber. Uh, this was for filmmaking, but I think it applies for basically everything. The guy said that in your town, people know you for like who you were in high school or middle school or whatever. For example, I was the shy kid who had good grades and didn't speak much, didn't speak at all actually, and who played handball. So that was me. Like if someone brought me up, that would be who I was, you know, that would define me. But at some point, people have to understand that now you're not this person they used to know, you're this person. Okay, next tip or step, uh, it's to own it. I actually said this in a reel or a TikTok. It was a TikTok. I don't have TikTok anymore, but I made a TikTok uh, giving you like some kind of tip to wear a kawaii fashion. It was like really just general, you know. I mentioned something and I think it's very important and people don't mention it that much. I think people generally have another kind of approach when it comes to being more confident and I do disagree with a lot of these approaches. So basically you just have to own it. You just have to accept the fact that yes, you are standing out. Yes, you are. You decided to wear a fashion that no one is wearing. Of course you're gonna stand out. It's normal. I'm not telling you, yeah, you want to like stand out and like you want to get the attention. 
No, you decided to be unique and dress in a unique way. So with that comes, of course, the fact that you're standing out and that people will notice it and people aren't familiar with this kind of fashion. I feel like it's better than it used to be, like dressing differently now is like more known, I guess, and more accepted than it used to be. But we're not quite there yet. People will still stare at you and you have to understand that it's not just because like they're judging or they think you're a freak. No, like I promise you most of the time when people are staring, they either just like your style, they're curious, they never saw it, like obviously. It's not always gonna be something negative. Also, something um, that people tend to say a lot about getting confidence and it's for a lot of things actually, uh, especially for like vlogging because I used to watch videos on how to get the confidence to vlog in public and like everyone would give that one tip that is not to make eye contact and like I was always feeling so uncomfortable with that idea because I just feel like it makes things worse like is imagine like avoiding eye contact for the whole day like being like this you know is just so much more cringe in my opinion and just so much more awkward than just owning it and like you know you're standing out the next tip is to stay consistent if you need to get one thing from this video it's to be consistent. I talk from experience and I realized that it's so important. I started dressing up uh, around like college I think. During college was like the peak area where I would just experiment everything and anything like I would just throw things. I would do that like every day to go to college you know I really had a lot of fun doing this but then and I guess it's mainly because like I don't go out every day anymore. I kind of like let myself enjoy and like take root in my comfort zone that would be just wearing like plain outfits because I thought okay I'm not going out for too long because yeah now I work from home so I don't have to go out that much so when I do I like literally just put something like very quick and of course we're all gonna have days where we just don't want to dress up and it's fine it's just that you have to fight the urge to like settle in this comfort zone you know i'm gonna give you like three main points on why uh it benefits you being consistent in this fashion the first one is you get more experience basically like you try on outfits you start to know what you like what you don't like you start building your own style and it's amazing second you get used to seeing yourself wearing this kind of fashion so it's less of a big deal to go out wearing this because for you at some point it will be normal. I had this uh, a lot back then, I would just throw something like very casual and I would get stares and like comments, like nice comments, but I would be like, I would realize like wait am I wearing something like out of the usual? I feel pretty casual today and it's just that I got used to seeing myself wear more extra outfits and finally that would be the point that i talked about just before is the fact that if you take roots in that comfort zone if you let yourself stick to this comfort zone for too long almost like a muscle you're gonna feel like you're starting from square one and you'll just have to rebuild this whole confidence from zero but yeah you just need to remember something and it's the fact that you'll be so proud of yourself like some of you might have experienced that but that feeling of just being so proud of yourself when you come back from like a long day out and you are just being yourself like wearing what you like and now for the last tip uh, or step it's more of a step this one it's before you go out say affirmations and I know it might sound corny and stuff but I promise it works like crazy <laughs> when you're about to go out you're gonna feel anxious and a lot of things you can do like meditation and like breath work just before just to feel more grounded you just go to your mirror just before going out uh, you look at yourself and you say 
affirmations using you as if you were talking to someone else that is you and that you are training them to be more confident. So yeah, uh, I have some of them here. The first one is kawaii fashion is for everyone. And that's something uh, you might have heard a lot uh, if you're in the community. Uh, people who have no idea what kawaii fashion is started like saying things and like making their, their own rules that aren't really like, there's no rule um, except being like respectful towards each other. You don't have to look a certain way to wear a kawaii fashion. This one I like. Kawaii fashion does not make you childish. And that's something I really struggle with because at some point I felt like I had to behave a certain way. To look a certain way, I have to constantly remind myself that it isn't making me childish. Uh, people can still take me seriously, uh, even if I'm wearing this kind of fashion because it's just my style. Then we have, you don't have to look a certain way to wear kawaii fashion, as I said earlier. People are too busy thinking about their lives, and they really are when you're going out. They, you might get some stares and stuff, but people really move on pretty quickly. Like, I'm sure you're not the weirdest thing they saw. People have their own lives, and we don't really realize it, but people are really in their head and like really thinking about their problems. Then we have, you've got this, don't worry you're gonna be fine, you're gonna get over the shyness, the, the awkwardness, the anxiety you might feel, you'll get over it and you're stronger than you think you are. And finally I wrote make yourself proud because it's something that comes up um, a lot when I'm doing things like I really want to make myself proud first and like yeah it's something that helps a lot so uh I think I said everything that video might be way too long but I really hope that it helps uh, some of you guys because I know I got some comments and I know that a lot of you are struggling I am struggling right now so I guess let's just support each other and we've got this. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I will see you very soon. Please take care. Bye.